A very good morning to Sir Yahutazi. My name is Petisalanya Anna Arin from Group AT Woman 04A. Regarding on the task given, which she explained the disease of one crops, I have choose to explain more specific on the disease of rubber, which is white root disease. Generally, there are five types of root disease that has infected the rubber tree. They are white root disease, red root disease, brown root disease, ustulina root rot, and poria root rot. White root is the disease that comes from the family of polyporacea, and the causal agent for this disease is the Rigidoporus lignosus. In Malaysia, it was reported that the first damage by this disease is in Botanical Garden, Singapore, in 1904. This disease was derived on the root then it spread to the collar region until it leading to the destructions of the root system. In addition, this disease can spread in the blind of eyes and it will attack all the rubber tree in respective of age and the health status of rubber. In the early this infestations of Rigidoporus lignosus, it is difficult to identify unless we do the monitoring and collar inspections at the base of rubber tree trunk. So when the rubber tree was infected by the white root disease, the green leaves will start to fade and change to yellow color. Then after a few weeks, the leaves will start to wilt and dry. However, the dry leaves does not fall to the ground immediately but still attach to the branches and twigs where it can affect the branches and later spread to the whole canopy. Then, the fruit's body or the bricks will be attached to the base of the rubber tree as their host and start to grow on decaying exposed roots or the stumps. So white root disease can cause a date to the affected trees because it spread very fast and infects the neighbor trees that has a poor drainage system. To control the white root disease, we can use the chemical solutions where we spray the chemical solution or painting the fungicide to the infestation tree. For example, we can use the Bordex mixture which is the combination of copper sulfate, lime and water where it is very effective fungicide to control the disease and it can provide the long-lasting protections to the plants against the disease. In addition, Bordex mixture is very suitable to be sprayed on the white root disease because it adheres to the plants in rainy weather. So to make the border mixture, first, we need to make sure 2 gallons of water into a strong plastic bucket. Then shake the solution of copper sulfate vigorously before adding the 1 quart of solution into the 2 gallons of water. After combining the water and the solution of copper sulfate, it is ready to spray to the rubber tree. Next, we can apply the cola protection to the root of the infected tree. Cola protected is the fungicide that helps to treat the infected tree but only can apply if the infestation is still at the early stage. So in order to conduct the cola protection, First, we need to dig the soil at 30 cm to 60 cm width times 20 to 45 cm depth to expose the infected part of the root. Then we remove the dead root or the dead portions of the tap root from the tree and burn it. It is to ensure that the disease cannot spread and infect the nearby tree. After that, we paint the cola protectant over the exposed step root or the cola area and 15 cm of the lateral roots. It is to prevent the root disease for a few years. Once done, painted the cola protectant, 
We need to refill the hole with the topsoil because topsoil is well known with high content of nutrient and organic matter. So it can help the growth of the rubber tree. Then the rubber production need to control the infestation by the white root disease to increase the yield. It is because Reginoporus lignosus not only attack the living rubber tree but also it attack the dead tree. In addition, the infestation by Rigidoporus lignosus is difficult to identify at the early of the infestation unless if the rubber taper does the monitoring and collar infections at the rubber farm. It is important to monitoring because by monitoring, we can identify the types and control method that we can apply in order to reduce the spreading of the disease. That's all. Thank you.